And, and it, was like, it was like super scary the first time I saw it. Freaked me out. Um, I don't like horror on. movies, so. so and, and here then, we are. And here we are. <laughs> She met this guy named Jim, and Jim lived in a cabin all by himself up in the mountains. Mountain Jim. Mountain Jim. And apparently, Mountain Jim had had a rough uh, meeting with a bear, and he was in Grand Lake and ran into a bear, and a bear took out his eye. And then he rode two days. To Grand Junction? Granby. Grand Junction. He Grand was in Granby, yeah. which that's where Grand Lake is. Okay. And then he rode to Grand Junction, yeah. which is a long ways from here. Two, 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 day days. Ride two day ride. With his eye to get hospital care for his eye. So, one of the things about um, Colorado is there's flies. <laughs> but yes. anyway. Oh, right. Yeah. But anyway, so. They took those two people um, being the frontier kind of feeling of, you know, this is what Estes Park is about and named this place after it. So it's named Bird and Jim. Anyway, so Paul got... So, yes, this is the carnivore. So what this is, is, is it's um, an elk filet. It is a lamb chop and a game sausage. And then there's veggies and potatoes underneath. And... Um, that is a lot. Yeah, so. It's embarrassingly a lot. Yeah. Anyway. It's delicious. Okay, let's try it. You come here. Yeah, this is over the top. This is good. So here we are above the timber line. That's what it's called, right? Yep. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, a little scary for me actually because I don't like heights much but so uh, the reason I wanted to show you this is this is the what happened when and how Stephen King ended up staying at the Stanley Hotel so he was coming and he was going actually through the Rocky Mountain National Park over to I don't remember where Granby must have been going to Granby. Going to, he was going to stay at some cottages down in Granby, I believe it was. But anyway, it was through the Rocky Mountain National Park. And he came up here and it says, be careful, the weather changes quickly. And he's at the end of the season, so he's going into winter. Yeah, so he was here, I think that must be September, October. But anyway, at the end of the season and it was going into winter. And he started to cross, he and his wife started to cross these, um, the National Park here. And one of the things says is that the weather can change rapidly. And so they got on their way up here in the national park and the weather did change and they got in a snowfall. So they were like, we do not want to be driving through this. And with these roads, I can see why I would be completely freaked out. Like, oh God, I can't look over the edge there. There you go. There's over the edge. Um, but Paul's a good driver. And so they turned around and the first hotel they found was the Stanley Hotel. Now the Stanley Hotel was actually closing down for the season. So they were done. They were like, it was time to close up for the winter, which a lot of the hotels did because they didn't even have to eat. Well, this was the Stanley Hotel was at that time, not as nice as it was today, but it was the first hotel that they ran into. And in fact, it was actually kind of run down. Yeah. 
And they were, yeah, they were closing. Yep, so and they were them. closing. So there was, they went and knocked on the door and they let them in and they had, you know, the place was shut down. Everybody was gone. But these guys were stuck in the snowstorm and so of course they let them come in. They said, well, we don't have any food. You know, we've got sandwiches. They said they actually took the chairs down from the tables and let them sit in the room with this old classical music playing in the background. So they took the chairs down off the table, fed them sandwiches, and put them into room 217. And from there, um, lots of stories, but we'll tell you the rest of it later. But this is the road that Stephen King was on and turned around and stayed at the Stanley, which was very eerie because there was nobody there. It was closing down for the winter. It was a bit dilapidated and it gave him the idea for the book, The Shining. So the very first time I came up to this Trail Ridge Road, I didn't understand it. If you haven't been here, it may not make sense to you, but you can see I keep driving by, we keep driving by these sticks. Long sticks. Long sticks stuck in the middle of these, or on the side, not in the middle, on the sides of the road, right? Like, and I'm like, why, Paul, are these sticks here? And he said, They're for the snow plows at the beginning of the season after the, the snow quits snowing up here so much, they come out here and plow this out, and that's how deep the snow gets here. Those, those are the markers for the plow trucks to see where the road is. Can you imagine being on a plow truck and these curvy, windy, steep fall off these cliff roads where you can't even tell the road goes and you got sticks to let you know that you're supposed to stay between them so you don't fall off the road in your snow plow. That's cool. That is crazy to me. Uh, interesting facts. Okay, finally we are in the Stanley Hotel, which is, by the way, in case you don't know, is from The Shining, which is a horror flick, yeah. right? Which was, doesn't necessarily all filmed here, but it took place here and some of it was filmed here. And, and, and it was, was like super scary the first time I saw it, freaked me out. Um, I don't like Way horror movies, so. So, and, and here then, we are. <laughs> here we are. And I was just, I saw a guy in the hallway and he's like staying here and he's taking pictures. He goes, I talked my wife into this and she's so mad at me right now. <laughs> so tonight we're staying in 236. Which is just one of their regular rooms. Well, no. It's, well, no, it's a beautiful This room. is a nice room. And it's not a haunted room or well, one of the known room. haunted rooms. But we are going to stay in one of the haunted rooms that's coming up. Yeah. So stay tuned. And this is um, a beautiful hotel, by the way. It's actually beautiful. Let's check anyway, out. Can you wait? You can see down the hall. Yeah. Which, there's no twins down there, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. Okay, let's go check out the room. This would have been one of the way high end rooms way high back end. in the day. Yeah. This is where the very wealthy stay. Right. So, this so is corner a unit, first corner of all, unit. with all yeah. the windows. Which we'll look out in a second. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very, very large room. Beautiful carpet. Beautiful furniture. Everything's well maintained. I mean, look at that bed. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous bed. Um, they have a full dresser over here, which again is beautiful. Solid wood on wood. Yeah. Which Leather, is... seats and chairs. There's a cabinet over here that you can see in. So again, back in the day, this would have been your closet because the rooms didn't have closets. Oh, really, really pretty. There's no, yeah, that's right. There's no yeah, closet. There so no that closet. is the closet. That is the closet. And then in here, let's check out. Room, which is actually quite large. I love these old tiles. I think they're original. Oh, I bet they are. Like these are just glazed, beautiful subway tiles. Um, the glass is good. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Right, and then the, the sinks are, are copper, hammered yeah, copper. Hammered copper sinks, marble tops. Nice. Huge double vanity in this room. Beautiful. Um, Cool. Newer lights, but really cool. Old fashioned, new old fashioned, old fashioned yeah. lights. Um, and they redid this. So maybe they did redo the shower tiles, but if they did, they made it go in there. Look at the tiles in the back. They made it to look absolutely beautiful. Right, as if it was back then, except for the, I mean, these are cool. Those are like cool and new, but I love them. So the room is beautiful. Let's go take a look outside here. Just to kind of get an idea of what the room looks, what the view looks like out here. I think 
So you've got the mountains. Way over there. The and we're looking down at the maze. This is the, the, oh, yeah. the maze garden. The maze garden from the movie, too. Mm -hmm. Which and is This might have cool. been the maze garden in the movie. It might have been. Yeah, it might have actually been that. So if you know anything about that, let us know. Because... <laughs> By God, we don't know. Hey, we are taking a tour of, of oh, yeah, um, the hotel the tomorrow, so we'll know a lot more information about um, beautiful about the history and everything. There's another maze over there too, higher maze. So that's pretty cool. Good. So it's a great room. Excited to be here. Really excited to be here. Like, so this so is our room. Cool. Yep. So we like it. Beautiful. The bed's amazing. This is a super big size king bed. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's squishy. Squishy bed. It's a squishy bed. <laughs>